What is happening guys? UFC 300, cracking card. So I'm gonna give you tips, uh, you know, what they're paying, my breakdown, oh, yeah, my picks. I'm gonna do it all. So uh, there's a, a massive card, huge card with a lot of great fights. Usually I only do main cards and maybe throw a couple of the prelims in there. I'm doing from early prelims, first fight, because every fight on this card is an absolute banger. So I know a lot of people, were, you had some people like, Oh yeah, as if the, the card was a letdown, which you know, I was in total shock uh, when I heard that because every fight on this is very, very high quality, uh, big names, and it's gonna be a, a great card with a great fight. So um, if you're my little dog running around, sorry for that, but yeah, he's getting excited. So let's get into it. See, that's what I mean. This is the first fight of the night. We're talking early prelims. We're, gonna, we're talking the first fight on this whole car is Cody Garbrandt, and Figueroa, Figueroa, how, mate, that's a, that's a, that's a main event uh, fight right there, you know, a, like, easily main uh, fight night main event. Cracking card. Now, Figueroa moving up, uh, this is going to be a uh, bantam, not flyweight. So, well, uh, yeah, this is going to be a tricky one. Look, Cody, I still think he's got some, uh, uh, he's got some left in him. I know we've seen some cracking uh, fights from him and then uh, we've seen him sort of not do well as well, but I think he's always in for a chance because he is a dangerous fighter. You know uh, Figueroa as well, uh, Davidson, he's gonna, he's gonna come forward. He's gonna be in there. He's gonna be happy to scrap with, uh, with Cody. So, I mean, this is gonna be a tricky one. I think, look, man, Figueroa's just been, uh, you know, he's seasoned. And uh, what's he paying? Dollar 28, he's heavy favorite. Uh, he's paying $3.60. Cody's paying $3.60. Look, that's fair, remember, it is a three, three uh, rounder. Look, I think uh, your safer bet would be leaning towards uh, Davison, obviously, he's a, he's, a, he's a veteran, like seasoned, so is uh, Cody, but how many uh, championship fights at higher caliber, um, very high, like his latest fights are all high caliber um, competitors. So it's gonna be hard to look past uh, Figueroa. So look, man, I'm gonna literally, he's gonna bring him to you, and I'm just gonna tell you how it is. You can see me uh, trying to figure it all out as we go, because I wanna give you a, a, a good breakdown of my best pick. Look, the best pick for that one is gonna have to be, it's gonna have to be Figueroa. I think that's, uh, you know, it's gonna be hard, even though uh, No Love's paying so well. Is he a chance if you wanna go an underdog? Could he catch him? Yeah, you could see that happening. Uh, I don't think you, I can see him submitting uh, Figueroa. Could Figueroa finish uh, no love, yeah, I think you can. Like, I think if it's gonna be a scrap that I'm, I'm expecting it to be, uh, they're both in for a chance, but I'm gonna have to lean towards Figueroa just from the caliber of uh, opposition he's fought lately and championship fights. Uh, him moving up, I think it's gonna be good for him. So I'm gonna have to lean towards, look, I like both guys, but I'm gonna have to lean towards Figueroa. Now, next fight, who we got? Jim Miller, Bobby Green. Jim Miller, Bobby Green. Jim Miller is still going. So UFC 100, 200, and 300. They actually did that. That's incredible. What a story, but not a good matchup for him. Man, I love a fairy tale story. Could he get it done? Yeah, everyone, you know, it's MMA. That's why we love this sport. Anyone can do it. But Bobby Green's got some wicked movement. Uh, I think he's gonna be hard to take down for Jim Miller. Jim Miller's gonna be, find it hard to, to land on him. Um, and if he comes forward trying to be aggressive to find the shots, I just see Bobby Green piecing him up, to be quite honest. And I love Jim Miller, right? Like, uh, again, I love the story coming into this. It's just a bad matchup. Who's the favorite? Obviously, Bobby Green. Hot yeah. favorite. Yeah, dollar forty-eight, Bobby Green. Jim sports Miller. bet. So we're going off sports bet uh, odds here. A dollar what? Dollar forty-eight, Bobby Green. Yeah, Jim uh, Miller. Two dollars sixty. Two dollars sixty. Um, yeah. I think, uh, you know, it, yeah, uh, you know, it's going to be a Bobby Green fight. I, like, again, his, his wicked head movement in his range. Uh, obviously, he got caught in his last one, didn't he? He got caught in his last one. That, yeah, he did, yeah. But, I mean, still, I just think, uh, you know, Jim Miller, he's a veteran, he's experienced. I don't know if that's going to be good enough for this. I think uh, you need, uh, if you're going to try and find uh, Bobby, um, you... You know, yeah, I think you need to have that, that, obviously that experience, but you want to be explosive, you want to be sharp, um, really good at setting traps, but need, yeah, you need to have the, the backup of the explosiveness and, and that as well. And I just don't know if Jim Miller can do it. Um, again, the beauty of this, I'm gonna give you my picks, and in the comments you can tell me that I'm completely wrong and I've got no idea. 
I'm gonna be okay with that. I wanna hear what you have to say. But I'm obviously leaning towards Bobby Green, I'm sure most of you will. Um, and I can see that being a finish. And that might be an early finish. So uh, I think I'm gonna go finish for uh, Bobby Green. Go Andrade and uh, Mariano Rodriguez. Okay, so favorite? Favorite is uh, Rodriguez, close. Okay. Dollar eighty-five. Yeah, man. It's uh, obviously Andrade, man. She, uh, she, she can be hit and miss, man. Like sometimes, like sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes I'm thinking, you know, she's gonna get it done, you know, because like last fight she lost. Maybe this isn't a good matchup, and then she'll go out and just wipe the f uh, floor with the, with them. And then there's gonna, you know, it's gonna be vice versa. It's gonna happen the other way. So um, who am I leaning towards here? Is the pocket rocket Jessica Andrade gonna? Is she going to do it? So who was the favourite? Rodriguez, you said, huh? Yeah, just. Just favourite. Mm. Mm. You know what? It's a big event. Jessica Andrade is going to turn up. So, you know, even though she's not a massive underdog, I'm going to go lean towards the underdog in this one. Look, I've seen enough. I can, I've seen her do some uh, big things. She's been in big fights. Um, yeah, she, she might get that done. So I'm gonna lean towards Jessica Andrade. Look, that's a, a tricky one for me, but I do wanna get some underdog picks and uh, I'm gonna lean uh, towards Jessica Andrade on that one. Jalen Turner and... Moicano. See, look, this is on the early prelims as well. Moicano's paying $3. Moicano paying, yeah. See, the Tarantula, hot favorite. Uh, Jalen Turner. And look, I didn't know the odds of when I seen the card. I was like, I know exactly what I'm gonna say. Uh, and I think the odd makers agree with me. Look, Jalen Turner, even though Moicano's on a tear, he's been killing it. He's uh, been doing really well. I like him. He's a good fighter. I just think uh, stylistically, he's going to find it hard to get uh, Jalen Turner to the ground. If he does, can he submit him? Yeah, I can see. I can see him submit him if he takes it to the ground. I just don't think it's going to get there. And on the feet, um, Jalen Turner is a sniper. Uh, Moicano's got some good uh, hands himself. He's got some great striking. But I mean, his style, if he wants to stand and, and fight Jalen Turner, I don't think that ends well for him. So I'll, I'm, and Jalen Turner, I think he's looking to get a finish. I think he's due for a big finish. And I think this might be it on, on 300 as well. So uh, obviously he's hot favorite. So I'm gonna say for you guys as my tip uh, would be, remember, gamble responsibly. I'm always gonna say that, gamble responsibly. Uh, but I will say finish. Uh, Tico, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a submission. He, even if he gets him to the ground, he's going to ground and pound him out. He's not going to go for the submission. So we're going to go TKO uh, finish for Jalen Turner. All right, that's just the early prelims. Now we're doing the prelims again. Like I told you, it's going to be a big one because there's too many good fights, and I'm doing them all. So a great, uh, great fight, this one. Lopez, Sadiq, saying that right? Yusuf. How's Lopez? I think it was his uh, debut and he got he had Mosbar. And Mosbar's a great wrestler and he was able to put him up, put him in some crazy submissions. And uh, he's actually got a bit of a, he actually coaches a few fighters in the UFC, uh, Diego uh, Lopez. I said that right? It's Diego, isn't it? Yeah, Lopez. He's actually a very, very high level jiu-jitsu. Very, very high level, very clever. Um, Who's the favourite in this one? His favourite, $1.75. Lopez is favourite. Um, yeah, okay, see, I was going to lean towards him, but I thought like, Sadiq's been at the top for a while, so I'm surprised um, he's the underdog here. Can he do it? Yeah, like, you know what I mean? I think uh, he's uh, going to have a similar sort of style to your Mozva, but I mean, uh, Lopez, man, I mean, he just knows how to finish. He's a clever dude, and uh, I think he's going to turn up, you know what I mean? Even on his debut, it gets a high, highly touted prospect in Mosva, you know, as a seasoned veteran, you know, undefeated, went in there as, as a debut and um, put it on him and almost, uh, he could have said, he, he could say he won that almost. Um, had him in some deep submissions. I'm gonna lean towards Lopez on this one, which I'm surprised he's a, he's a favorite, to be honest. Um, which is saying why, if you wanna go an underdog, Yusuf could be a, an underdog pick there. Remember, three rounds, if he doesn't get finished, um, I, I think he's gonna win on the feet. So, uh, look, if you want to look at that, I'm going to give you a breakdown so you can sort of go where you want with that. I think uh, I will lean towards Lopez, but more for a finish. I'm going for a finish. If this goes a decision, I'm leaning towards Sadiq. So, um, yeah, so there you go. So that's a, that's a tricky one. So 
You know I love an underdog, but I don't want, because Lopez, I thought he was the underdog, so I thought I was giving you as a good underdog sort of pick here, but he ain't the underdog, he's a favourite. Um, which makes me want to be like, man, like, Yusuf ain't no, ain't no joke. So uh, I'm going to lean towards Lopez. I'm going to say Lopez finish. Uh, but if it goes a decision, if you guys think it's going to a decision, you probably will lean towards uh, Yusuf. Good, um, Holly Holm at $4.40. Ooh. Kayla Harrison at $1.20. Holly Holm at $4.40. Kayla Harrison's no joke, right? Coming in, debut on one of the biggest cards. Whole different event. Does it get to her? You gotta remember, Holly Holm, I know she's, man, she's been around. She's obviously at the end of her career. It's a three rounder. Can she, cause you know she ain't just, you know, she's got, she's got good range. Um, she's getting better with her wall work and stuff as well. She's always been pretty tricky to take down. Um, I think if they do grab a hold of each other, Kayla's still gonna get it down. World champion, uh, Olympic rest, uh, Olympic judo. I mean, you don't wanna be there with uh, Kayla, but can she keep her on the outside? Now look, man, you know, again, I just told you I love an underdog. $4.40, decision win for, for Holly Holm. Can she knock it? Obviously, she's got great hands. She can finish. I've got a feeling Kayla Harrison's going to be hard to finish. A bit of a uh, brute, solid neck. I don't know if I can see her getting put lights out. Um, so I don't know. But <laughs> I mean, the odds for Holly Holm to pull a decision win, man. Again, underdog, you know I like my underdog picks, and it's such a big underdog pick. I'm going to lean towards Holly Holm in this one. I'm gonna say Holly Holm, but again, this is me, uh, as I always do, I always like to give you my underdog pick. I think my underdog pick might be Holly Holm, because Kayla Harrison's got a lot of hype around her. Uh, we haven't seen her in the UFC, uh, which doesn't really matter, but on, a, on this sort of stage, with it being UFC 300, uh, you know, things are gonna be a little bit different. Man, do we see another massive upset like we did in Sydney that time when she got a, uh, uh, Ronda Rousey, you know what I mean? Uh, $4.40, I'm going Holly Holm. Underdog pick of the week for this card, Holly Holm. Uh, again, big underdog, but you know I love an underdog. So I'm gonna go Holly Holm on that one. Damn, if that wins, you better come back on here and thank me if you bet on that. Again, gamble responsibly. Aljamain Sterling, Calvin Cater, in on the prelims. Man, impressive cards stacked, proper stacked. You talk about stack meter, right up there. Aljamain's wrestling grappling is no joke. Even at featherweight, I think he's gonna be a problem. Calvin Cater's takedown defense is good. Um, and his boxing's very nice. Aljamain Sterling's uh, stand-up is unorthodox. He can be quite tricky. Calvin Cater's got a wicked eye. He can definitely, could he catch him? Three-rounder. Aljamain Sterling, Likes to sort of play it safe. He knows that he doesn't want to sit there in the pocket with someone like Calvin Cater. I think he's going to be very strate strategic in this. Who's the favorite? Sterling, $1.68. $1.68 Sterling, okay. Cater's paying $2.15. Cater's paying $2.15. Man, like see, can Cater, Cater catch him 100%? But I will lean towards Al Jermaine. I know he's moving up. A lot of people are like, oh, he's moving up. How's he gonna do? Calvin Cater does have good takedown defense, but I think Al Jermaine's rel relentless wrestling and trying to stick to him and might be enough to win the rounds and he's gonna play it safe. He ain't gonna take unnecessary risks. Um, and obviously his last one with Sean O'Malley, he said that he did, so he's gonna make sure he doesn't do that again. So I am gonna lean towards Al Jermaine St Sterling, but again, it's a tough fight, you know what I mean? Uh, can Calvin Cater, catch him 100%. I like Calvin Cater as well. Great fighter, uh, good dude. Yeah, Al Jermaine, uh, you know, my safest bet is Al Jermaine. Uh, decision. So, yeah, decision win for Al Jermaine. Dead Yuri and uh, Alexander Rakic. Rakic, yeah, Rakic, Rakic, Rakic. Yeah, we're going to butcher them. Anyway, Yuri, everyone knows who we're talking yeah. about. Yeah, Yuri and Alexander, yeah. Rakic, Rakic. Um, all right, I'm going to have to go with Yuri on this one. Um, you know, you gotta remember the level of competition he's fought is pretty high. Uh, so, and he's maybe his former champ. Not saying Alexander's not uh, a, not up to that standard, but I just think uh, Yuri is unorthodox sort of striking. Um, he's gonna be a little bit too much. I think uh, I'm gonna to lean towards him for, he's obviously favorite. Um, 
Rakic is favourite. Yeah, he's paying $1.72, Yuri's paying $2.10. Okay, well there you go, Yuri is paying $2.10. Look, uh, I must be, I might be missing something here with uh, some of, but, I mean, I can't bet against Yuri anyway. I will not bet against Yuri here. Um, yeah, it is close enough, and, and uh, underdog. Uh, look, I'm going Yuri uh, Prohashka. Um, I think it, a finish as well. I think he might get the finish. Tough one, but I'm leaning towards Yuri. I think he will get the finish, so I'm gonna go TKO, KO, KO. Here we go, main card. Bo Nickel at $1.05, and Cody Brundage is paying $9.50. $9.50, again, you know I love an underdog, but no matter how much this is paying, uh, look, Bo Nickel is, is the real deal, so uh, he isn't just an incredible wrestler. He knows how to, he knows how to fight. He knows, uh, he still plays, he's very aggressive, uh, but still knows how to play it safe. So he uh, doesn't just do careless things. Um, very explosive. Yeah, man, I'm, it's, yeah, that's a pretty easy uh, pick for me. It's gonna be, you can't bet against Bo Nickel here. Obviously an underdog at $9. You want to put some small change on that just for the sake of it, you can. Uh, it doesn't, you know what I mean? Uh, so look, I don't know if you could ever bet on a dollar five. I don't think it's, uh, you put it this way, my tip of the week is just don't bet on this fight. Maybe that's your <laughs> safest bet is by far going to be Bo Nickel. But what, you're getting some pocket change for that. A dollar five, so you know what I mean? That's how we do it, I don't know, they do plus this, minus this. We don't do that, we just do a dollar five. So you're getting five cents to the dollar. Leave this one out. Leave this one out. You know I love an underdog, but just don't go there. Oliveira and Sarukian. Great fight. Who's a, who's a favourite? Uh, I'm in. $1.44. Oliveira's paying two seventy-five. Woo! Look, if... Alright, this is this one's a tricky one. So this one I want to break down properly and I want you to understand where I'm going with this. Sarukian um, has all the skills to be able to control Charles Oliveira and win. I do feel he can be a bit of a risk taker, right? He loves his scrambles. He doesn't mind f throwing hands to, to find his way to the takedown. Um, he's coming off finishes. Does he play that? Does he go that route? Even though I know he's going to want to grapple, or does he not want to grapple with uh, Charles Oliveira because of Charles, Charles Oliveira's finish rate? Does he not want to go there? Hot favourite. This is a, I think, man. See, I like uh, Armin as well. I like Charles Oliveira, both cool dudes, both great fighters, great fighters. Armin's great fighter. Stylistically, again, and you know I like the underdogs, who do I think's a safer bet? I think, it's a three rounder, I think Armin, but I can definitely see uh, Charles Oliveira getting a finish here. I can definitely see it. The thing is, Armin is gonna swing. He's gonna bring the fight, it's gonna be a very exciting fight. You know Charles will come put that pressure come in and he's gonna fire. He can come in aggressively and Armin will look for the shot straight away. Does he get caught coming in straight away? Or will he want to fire first? This is tricky, because I know he likes to fire and look for the takedown, but Charles Oliveira is gonna come in aggressively, like he likes to come forward and put the pressure. Will that just make Armin's, you know, sort of a, not panic shoot, but automatic reaction, just be just quick shoot? Uh, will Charles be ready for that and try and fire something? Um, is it going to be that type of uh, thing, or does he catch him with a submission because he, you know, he's drawn the right reaction of him shooting, knowing that was going to be there? Man, and he likes to shoot pretty low, so on his way down, he, he could be putting himself in in a dangerous sort of position. Man, I'm I'm starting to lean a little bit to Charles Oliveira here, and I always will pick. Um, I always lean towards wrestlers over full grapplers, good wrestlers and good grapplers, because he's a good wrestler and good grappler, great grappler as well. But I feel like he can be a bit of a risk taker and man, look, I'm, I'm dragging this on. I am going to go because he's the underdog, Charles Oliveira is the underdog and you know I like an underdog pick. Um, I think you could say a finish for Charles Oliveira on this one. But uh, wish nothing but the best for both fighters. Uh, both are gonna be in title contentions after this. Both deserve the title now, really, as well. Uh, there's so many guys in the division that deserve a title. So uh, good luck to both fellas. Wish you all well. But I will lean towards the underdog on this one. Justin, Justin Gacy, Max Holloway. Woo! What a fight. I'm seeing a lot of it. Gacy favorite? Yeah. Hot favorite? $1.40, Max is paying. 
286. Okay, so not crazy. Yeah, the way people, some people were talking, I thought maybe they were going to have... You can't have bad odds on Max Holloway. See, a lot of people were sitting there, Justin Gaethje Arara, do we not forget Max Holloway's chin? Have we seen him in his uh, last fights? The you know, guy knows how to mix it up. He used to, I think he used to be more hittable um, back in the day. Like he used to just purely, like he was always very, very uh, high level, really good at setting up traps, but willing to be in front of you and eat some while he's doing so. Now, He's got a lot more angles. He uses so many more tools. Man, this is gonna be an exciting fight. I just don't think, you know, a lot of people expect that Max to just come forward and do what he sort of how he used to be. And Gaethje just throw these massive bombs like them big leg kicks being there. Um, you know, you're probably gonna see Muay Thai Max again, you know? Uh, ready for the kicks and, you know, maybe change things up again. Look, great fight. You know what I mean? Uh, it's hard to pick against Gaethje, but I mean, it's hard to pick against uh, Max Holloway. I just think Max Holloway is an underdog here and I think a lot of people are counting, counting him out and I don't know why. I think it's just purely because he's moving up um, against a powerful dude like Justin Gaethje, which is fair enough. Uh, people, that's a fair assessment. Um, I get it. But we can't forget Max Holloway's chin. I think it's just, it's an undefeated chin. <laughs> it really is. And uh, I've tried cracking it and many people have tried cracking it and, you know, uh, thinking that, you know, is JS Justin Gaethje going to be the guy to finish it? I don't know. It's hard for me. I I've said that a few times and it just doesn't happen. So uh, we've seen him being cracked. Even in a couple of uh, Max Holloway's last fights, he didn't get hit as much, but he still got cracked with some big shots. Ate him like a champ. So I am going to lean towards... I will lean towards Justin Gaethje. Is this is a five-rounder? Do we know if it's a five-rounder? I think it is. It's a five-rounder. Do we think he's... Got See, Gaethje's been five rounds and you've seen him do well in the later rounds. Uh, Raphael... Oh, no, that was a three-rounder. But um, and he, and he took, started taking over in the later rounds. Um... So he can go five rounds, but the pace that Max Holloway's still gonna bring, cause he's still gonna be there to be hit. Like uh, that Max Holloway will still be there to be hit or, or to make it a fight. And Gaethje, we know Gaethje likes to throw bombs. So I think, can he zap a bit of the life out of uh, Gaethje? I think so. You know, you know Max ain't gonna tire. Five rounder. Look man, I have to lean towards Gaethje. I have to lean towards Gaethje. But man, I thought the odds were gonna be Worse, I thought that I thought people the way people were talking, the way people are talking, acting like Max don't stand a chance. You're wrong, he, he has a massive chance in this. I can't wait for this fight because it's going to be exciting. I think it's going to, I think you could say this is a pick and fight, but I will lean towards Justin Gaethje. I don't think his chin gets cracked, so uh, you know, you go decision, I, you'd still think you would lean towards Max Holloway because it's uh, going later rounds and you know how good, good, good he is there, but I will. I have to lean towards Justin Gaethje. Or do I go all out and back Max Holloway? Sorry guys, See, it's exciting mate. You got this, this is getting me, you know, some good matchmaking here too. Some fun fights, exciting fights, top to bottom. Pick one. Huh? I've got to pick them. Pick one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say for my pick will be Max Holloway. That's a tricky one. That is a very tricky one, but I'm gonna get Max Holloway. All right, so. Wei Li and Yan, both great fighters. You've seen what um, I picked um, Yan against Andraj. I picked her to do what, what uh, Wei Li did to, to Andraj, and that's exactly what happened. I got that right. But this one's a different story. Wei Li's hot favorite? Uh, yeah, $1.26. $1.26. dollars Yeah, so obviously, yeah, I'm going to have to go Wei Li. Wei Li's uh, too well rounded. She's a brute. Her wrestling's higher level, her grappling's higher level. Her striking's next level. She's tough, she's fit, uh, she's got all the tools. You can't bet against her. You just can't. You can't bet against her um, on this one. So I'm gonna, that's a pretty easy pick for me, even though she's hot favorite. You know what, uh, what I've been saying the whole, through this whole uh, uh, breakdown, but I'm gonna go uh, Wei Li as, a, as one, of the, one of the safest bets. Not much money in it, but safest bet. Main event. Main event. Pereira, Hill. Hill, Pereira. It's gonna be a fun one. Hill's gonna bring it. Hill ain't gonna be uh, afraid of uh, Pereira striking. And Pereira's gonna fight his fight. He's not gonna be afraid of uh, Hill striking, obviously. So he's gonna come forward, um, put himself in positions where Hill's gonna feel like he can hit him, uh, which he will be, will be able to. But I mean, that's the way Pereira fights. He likes to go there, he has his hands down, puts you in a position where, you know, like forces you to punch, you know, and he forces you to throw. 
you think there's opening there, you sort of make you panic punch, like, oh, I've got a fire, and he's so good at catching you while you, while you do that, um, which is why he's so dangerous, but he can be hit, and Hill can hit hard. Who's your favorite? Carrera, $1.68, Hill's two fifteen. It's close. Slight favorite um, is gonna be Pereira. He'll coming from a big injury. Um, I don't know, did, it, did this come quicker than he expected? I know they needed a fight and they made that happen. Uh, uh, was he planning on fighting a little bit later? See, I don't know, I could be wrong. I don't have inside information. So I'm gonna assume that is the case. And I'm gonna have to maybe lean towards Pereira because of that. I mean, both guys, you're like, obviously you've got the Izzy and Pereira thing, you know, like obviously that rivalry. And you know, I'm, I'm meant to like hate uh, Pereira, right? Because like, of this rivalry, but obviously there's that competitive side of things. I don't even think, well, Izzy and Pereira don't even hate each other. It's just pure rivalry, competitiveness. And like, you know, Pereira's a good dude. Um, uh, he's actually a yeah, pretty cool dude. And so is Jamal Hill. I like, I like both of them. Both of them are cool dudes. Um, I'm probably gonna do a cooking with Volk with uh, Jamal Hill as well. So this one hurts me to say it because I know Jamal. So Jamal, you're my guy, and we're gonna do a cooking with Volk. I just don't know, maybe next time I'm gonna to talk to you, you're gonna give me something, I'm going, nah, nah, I've been training for this long, blah, 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 give me all this info, inside information. Like, I'm, I'm probably gonna think differently, but right now I'm gonna to have to go with, you had a big injury, I don't know how much time you had pr to prepare for this. Um, was it rushed? So I'm gonna to lean towards Pereira. Otherwise, if it wasn't the case, I mean, it could be a pick em type of fight, right? But I'm gonna to go to Pereira because he's been active, um, he's been fighting and uh, training the whole time. Um, and yeah, not coming off any uh, crazy injuries. So I'm gonna lean towards Pereira for the main event. What a card, UFC 300, uh, again, so good. Listen to the, the names that we just mentioned throughout this whole card. How many former champions, how many exciting fighters. Great fight uh, night, great night of fights. Um, yeah, I mean, again, if you don't like gambling, don't bet at all, but if you do, Gamble responsibly. Sports bet got you covered. Uh, told you the odds there. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's my uh, picks for the, uh, my breakdown and picks for the whole card. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you want me to do all the, all the fights from now on. Let me know if you liked that this went a bit longer and we got to, you know, sort of run it down quicker. Didn't rush through it, you know what I mean? Uh, let me know if, what you think. Obviously, if you think uh, some of my picks are complete bullshit and I've got no idea, let me know. I'm gonna tell you, you got no idea. You know what I mean? So it's fair. So uh, say what you want, comments, a uh, bit of banter, back and forth, love it. Uh, give me your predictions, give me your picks if you want. Uh, yeah, good luck with it all and enjoy the show because it's gonna be incredible. We out.